Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. In this video, we will be discussing the very first member of the British royal family to announce openly that he is gay. The Queen's cousin, Lord Ivor Mountbatten, pictured left, has spoken for the first time about his sexuality and how he has found love. Lord Ivor Mountbatten, the great-great-great-grandson of Queen Victoria, has told of his happiness with his new partner, James Coyle, an airline cabin services director. In an interview on Saturday, the divorced father of three said, I was driven into the closet by not wanting to come to terms with who I was, and facing friends and family in the early years. I buried it. Lord Ivor, 53, is the great-nephew of Earl Mountbatten of Burma, who was murdered by the IRA. He has told his family and friends he is gay, and has introduced them to his partner, whom he met while skiing in Verbier, the Swiss resort, last March. Speaking of his decision, he told the Mail on Sunday, Being a Mountbatten was never the problem. It was a generation into which I was born. When I was growing up, it was known as the love that dare not speak its name. But what's amazing now is how far we have all come in terms of acceptance. He added, Coming out is such a funny phrase, but it's what I suppose I did in a rather roundabout way. Emerging to a place I'm happy to be. I have struggled with my sexuality, and in some ways I still do. It has been a real journey to reach this point. I was driven into the closet by not wanting to come to terms with who I was and facing friends and family in the early years. I buried it. I even had girlfriends as I tried to work out what I wanted to be. It was not an easy time in my teens or twenties. I'm just so pleased now to have found someone who I'm happy to call my partner. He says his former wife Penny, whom he divorced in 2011, and their three daughters have been very supportive and have welcomed his partner into their lives. I am a lot happier now, although I am still not 100% comfortable with being gay, he added. In an ideal world, I know the girls would like their mother and father still to be together, but they love their 21st century family and that we have built. Their father has a boyfriend. It's that complicated and that simple, but finding James means I will not have to lie to anyone or grow old on my own. He is one of the godfathers of Lady Louise Windsor, born 2003, the daughter of Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex, and his wife, the Countess of Wessex. Mountbatten was educated at Gordonstone School and graduated from Middlebury College, Vermont, with a BA degree. Lord Ivor married Penelope Anne Vere Thompson on the 23rd of April 1994 in Clare, Suffolk. They divorced in 2011. They have three daughters. Ella Louise Georgina Mountbatten, born on the 20th of March 1996, Alexandra Narda Victoria Mountbatten, born on the 8th of May 1998, and Louise Xenia Rose Mountbatten, born on the 30th of July 2002. Here we see the eldest daughter Ella and mother Penelope posing for photos to mark her coming of age. Ivor and his wife separated in September 2010 and their home, Bridwell Park, was originally put up for sale. The couple divorced in November 2011 and in January 2015, Ivor converted Bridwell into an exclusive use wedding venue and for corporate functions and business events. Ex-wife Penelope only lives 200 yards away from the couple and dines once a week with them. There is currently no provision in law to allow same-sex partners to use courtesy titles. Thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, then please leave a like, comment and share on social media. Don't forget to subscribe for all the latest royal news. From me in Shropshire, goodbye.